When we started this concept, the Tesla Model S was all that existed. One of the things I think that also fascinates the people that have been watching the video is scaling. Yeah. How do you go from prototype to actual production? A number of people were interested. I'm ready to buy one. How do I do that, basically? Yeah. So any thoughts or ideas about how to scale this? Right. So ideally, we'd like to work out a relationship with Tesla such that we could purchase parts, components from them directly uh, and then do our own assembly, something of that nature. Of course, we've, we plan for alternate routes if that one doesn't work. When we started this concept, the Tesla Model S was all that existed. Uh, the Roadster, of course, but we weren't going to build one on a Roadster. Roadster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so something that we've been doing a lot of thinking about lately is when the Ford F-150 Lightning debuted. That is a body on frame contrasted to the Model S, the X, and now the Cybertruck first truck that's a unibody which makes it much more challenging to add a different body mount a different body to the f-150 lightning eight bolts on each side of the frame rails and the entire bed and cab lift off then we just have to dismount the dash assembly reintegrate that but we'd have an entire platform to build on top of mm -hmm. of course there's also the option to do it all from scratch much more time and, and cost intensive but I do have thoughts of what is that next evolution, the next version of electric powertrains. Mm -hmm. So we've got some, some thoughts on that too. You know, my thinking is Rivian might also be a candidate, but the difficulty I think that these kinds of companies have currently is they're in cash burn mode. Yeah. For them to develop new products and create even more investment is probably not in their future, at least short term. Finding a platform that would accommodate this is probably the best idea so far. Mm -hmm.